Most gardeners have experienced the disappointment of carefully raising a vegetable crop, only to have it damaged or destroyed by an invasion of pests, such as slugs, aphids or other bugs. The traditional advice in such situations is to heavily spray crops with pesticides, but many of us prefer to use nature's own organic controls for the foods we are going to eat. Using nature's own checks and balances to keep pests down is an age-old technique, and you can give nature a helping hand by following some of these key principles. Plant a range of crops in your growing space, including some flowers that will add an attractive visual element to your garden, but more importantly will add colour and scent, which will naturally attract beneficial insects and provide a source of food for them in the form of pollen and nectar. These beneficial insects will eat other flying pests, such as lacewings eating aphids. Provide shelter and habitat to encourage predators where they can shelter and reproduce. You could leave a section of your garden to remain wild, leaving rocks and other natural items, and not cutting anything which grows there for a season. You could make or buy a bug hotel, which provides lots of nooks and crannies for the insects, which can be hung easily in a tree or next to a shed. Or, you can provide shrubs and hedges. Plant sacrificial or trap crops, which are plants that you add to your garden to attract pests away from the main crops you are growing. Even pests have preferences for the sorts of plants they prefer to eat, so by choosing the right ones, the pest will be attracted to the sacrificial plant and do less damage to your crops. Some of the best trap crops include nasturtiums, which are very attractive to aphids such as black fly, green fly, white fly, which will often completely cover the stems. Nettles also attract aphids, especially early on in the season. Chervil is very attractive to slugs, especially at the seedling stage and French marigold attracts slugs, thrips and nematodes. It's usually sufficient to plant sacrificial plants at the edge of your crop growing spaces, which is the first place pests will attack from. Companion planting is the planting of flowers or herbs to attract beneficial insects such as lacewings and ladybugs or ladybirds, which then feed on the pests. The best plants to choose are those with flowers that provide lots of protein-rich pollen and that provide a source of nectar throughout the year. Many highly bred ornamental flowers fall short on these, so always check the packet. Many are now labelled as insect friendly. Some of the best flowers to choose include calendula, marigold, chamomile, poached eggplant, phacelia and comfrey. If you don't want to rely on nature exclusively, barriers can be used to prevent pests reaching your crop and are particularly effective for keeping out birds, small mammals such as squirrels and pets which like to dig in freshly prepared soil. Use cloches to protect easily damaged crops like lettuce from slugs, snails and aphids and to stop birds pulling out the crops, especially when they are small. Cover crops with netting throughout the growing season to keep most of the larger pests out. By using a system of netting and canes with plant pots on top, you can easily and quickly get access to your crops and raise the height of the netting as your crops grow. This is also effective protection from butterflies, which are particularly drawn to brassicas where they lay their eggs, which later turn into cabbage worm or caterpillars, which can devastate a crop. If you choose the size of the netting carefully, beneficial pollinating and predator insects will still be able to get through and give you a helping hand. This is particularly useful to protect soft fruit from birds, but it's also a good idea to use something to scare the birds away too, such as a row of old CDs to prevent them from getting tangled in the netting. There are many ways to trap and kill slugs, and a host of different products on the market that promise to do just that. An easy way to trap and kill them is to sink a dish or a used fruit skin like a grapefruit filled with beer into the soil. The slugs flock to it, get drunk on the beer and drown, and you can empty this every few days and refresh as a continuous trap. Use jets of water from your hose or squash by hand any aphid populations that seem to be getting out of control. It's messy, but a great way to get closer to your plants. Keeping on top of pests throughout the growing season might seem like a never-ending battle, but remember, nature has checks and balances in place, and you can help out by following the key steps. Provide the ideal conditions in your garden to attract and retain pollinating insects. Use trap and sacrificial plants. Add flowers as companion plants to confuse pests, and use barriers and traps.